So uh, here we are in lovely Puerto Galera, diving capital of the Philippines. It's, uh, this whole place really just exists for scuba diving because of the uh, fantastic coral reefs that line the, the coast just here. It really is a wonderful place to, to dive. And uh, also to do some underwater photography, of course, to photograph these fabulous reefs. Uh, you can see behind me uh, part of the shore and, a couple, and one, of, one of the boats that we use for diving. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I should be doing any underwater photography here for the moment. It's not today, probably not tomorrow either, because uh, uh, as you can tell, I still got that little bit of a cold on my chest. And uh, although I thought it was only on my chest, it seems that it's also in my head because when I tried to dive yesterday, uh, I got down to about five meters, and I just got this awful pain in my ears because I just could not equalize the pressure in them, and uh, it was pretty excruciating, I have to say. So uh, my ears still are not painful now, but I still. Uh, it's still not feeling good and I still can't equalize the pressure in them so not not great definitely not good diving territory when you're feeling like this so I've got to sit it out and wait for my ears to recover by which time I probably run out of time here so I suspect that I'll just have to make another return trip here to actually do the photography the guys running the resort and the diving here that I'm working with have already offered me to let me do that so I suspect that that's what will happen in April it's really a shame you see one of the boats behind me it's all loaded up with kit my kit should be uh, uh, there too because the, the guys are about to go out in just a few minutes to do an afternoon dive but uh, really isn't don't think it's going to happen well it certainly isn't going to happen for me in the next few minutes but well uh boss philly put it down in the dumps about it yesterday but it's one of those things all the divers suffer it from time to time and it's my turn sadly uh, really bad timing but well there you go just have to try and uh, enjoy the place do some desk work do some just relaxing for a change a uh, bit of bird photography too i did that this morning instead of a dive and uh, well it wasn't brilliantly successful but got a, got a, got a few a few things and that's uh, that's probably what i'll end up doing this afternoon too and if you just have a look see if i step out of the way i'm not sure what you'll be able to see there you go oh here comes one of the guys with his with some diving kit not going to see that he's just going to walk past me now but anyway here uh, this is uh, here we are in beautiful Puerto Galera and we'll talk again more okay so it's my last morning in uh, Puerto Galera uh, I've got to head back towards Manila this morning so uh, not going to be able to do any, any diving today my ears are getting better but they're still not quite there and uh, also there's a storm brewing so I've got to catch a ferry uh, fairly soon otherwise it may, ferries may stop later on so I've got to push on back to Manila uh, reason I have to have a ferry because uh, well, Puerto Galera is on the north coast of Mindoro, an island off the southwest coast of Luzon. And so to get back to Manila, I have to take a ferry across the Batangas Channel. And you see the, the waves are already starting to build up in that channel. And then uh, when we get to Batangas, then take a bus back to Manila. So the ferry rides about an hour, and then the bus rides about mm, three hours or so, depending on traffic. And then to another hotel. And um, the reason for going back to Manila is because I need to go there in order to start the next leg of the, the project which uh, involves tomorrow taking a bus up to Baguio which is uh, a city up in the um, Cordillera Central, the mountains, the high mountains of northern Luzon and uh, from Baguio some people from the Department of Tourism up there will be taking me to Mount Pulag which is uh, Luzon's highest mountain, third highest mountain in the Philippines just at scratch below 3,000 meters high so about 10,000 feet so it's pretty high it's going to be cold up there especially if it's going to be stormy I don't know what's going to happen there anyway so uh, it's going to be more more uh, forest photography up there but up on the mountains this time so it'll be uh, what's called uh, mossy rainforest with very stunted trees lots of moss everywhere very wet ha, not looking forward to that too much it's also going to be pretty cold but I really want to photograph this forest, it's really quite something. And up around the summit there's grassland and dwarf bamboo, so that's another thing we need to photograph. So that's the plan for the next couple of days, we'll talk about more of that later. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me above the noise of the uh, ship's funnel, but uh, as you can see we're on a ferry now, coming across the, the Tangas Channel from uh, Mindoro back across to Luzon, towards the city of Batangas. And uh, well, all the ferries, in fact, as I worried about this morning, all the ferries from Puerto Galera back to Batangas were in fact cancelled. So I had to take a couple of Tahara Jeep to bring me an hour and a half down the coast to the town of Calapan. Thank you. 
but that's not going to happen, not to worry. Let's enjoy the sea voyage now and then struggle back to Manila later on. This uh, crossing back to Luzon pretty well winds up the first part of this uh, photo shoot in the, in, uh, the Philippines. So uh, this kind of will be the last post in this uh, section of the, of the video blog. If you find it interesting, the next step will be to head up into the mountains of northern Luzon. And that will be the start of the next, uh, next vlog. So we'll talk again soon.